Minds, it's your boy Spider Minutes, aka D Man. You're a man. I'm sitting here with my sister, my day one, the one who holds it down for me. Eh, 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 eh. My co host, Daria. What the hell was that? I don't know. I don't okay. know. I was trying something new and like it didn't like, work out. You stop, just stop. It didn't work out. Like, stop. It, 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 it didn't work that's, out. That's not beatboxing, but okay. Okay. Oh, you got it right. You said it right. I said beatboxing. Yeah, you said it right. Not okay. beatboxing like you usually say. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, you did it Yay. right. Hey, 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 hey. What's up, guys? This is What Had Happened Was, a show where we recap the past wrestling event that we managed to see. Uh, and this time it was WrestleMania 36, a two-night event for the first time, uh, I believe, in, in the history of WWE was a two-night event. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Isn't this the first time? Yeah, it was the first time. Yeah. I mean, like, they, I think they had a WrestleMania where it was, like, in multiple locations, but not, you know, but it all happened on the same night. night. Okay. Um, but before we get started... As a reminder, if you'd like to see this channel continue to grow and thrive, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Hit us with a like on any of the content that you do enjoy. And comment down below because we do like to hear from you, our kaiju faithful. Throw a dance for the hearts of us. Now let's get into it. WrestleMania 36. Things yeah. in this world are a little bit different. From what's going on. From, from what's outside. going on. We'll just say current events. Current events. Current events. Like current what events. you had to do in uh, sixth grade. Now you had yeah. to do current events current every events. Monday. Current events has changed the way that we experience things in the world. And, and it's yeah. changed the way that we are experience, experience, experience. experiencing uh, this WrestleMania. Things have been changing since, since from what we thought was going to happen a couple of months ago to now. Yeah. Roman Reigns, out of a match. Uh Tag teams are now just individual representatives of each team. Yeah. Cards have been subject to change, and that has been leading up to a lot of interesting things. And this 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 pay-per-view was interesting. Let's let's say it was interesting. It wasn't necessarily oh, that's fair. good. I, it wasn't necessarily bad. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. I, I will say it was interesting. Yeah, it was it was very interesting. Uh and it was very interesting for a couple of matches, which we will get into a little bit later, because we're gonna run down the match card, tell you what happened uh for each match. And I have my co-host right here, my hype girl. Or she's gonna try to be my hype girl. Let's let's see if she can handle the job as I pick up my handy dandy notebook. Hmm. Hmm. Let's get into this. Do you need a me 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 me? Uh, let's go. Night one. Night. Oh God. Night one. Night one had us with a match between the Kabuki Warriors, Kyrie Sane, and Asuka versus Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. Have anything to say about about the Kabuki Warriors and and the Cross and Bliss and the Bliss and Cross? Eh. 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 That's, that's not the message you really want to focus on. Uh, move on. Okay, so move on. Okay, so Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross ended up winning their match, taking the tag team titles away from uh, the Kabuki Warriors. And honestly, I don't know how I feel about this because one, Kyrie Sane and Oscar deserve way better than what they've been getting and taking the titles off of them. Hopefully that frees them up for something. But, you know, I have no, no, I have no trust in the Big E, the WWE, when it comes to <laughs> handling really good talent like uh, Alexa Bliss, uh, uh, not Alexa, uh, Oscar and Kyrie Sane. I, I really don't. So here's hoping that they do something different with them because, like, there is no women's tag team division, not at, technically. I mean, there is, but there isn't. And that's one of the biggest issues with these two is because there's there's nothing there for them outside of, like, you know, these one-shot matches. So here's hoping that they do something more with them. So we're going to move on because she's she's not the one going to focus on that. We had mm -hmm. Elias versus King Corbin. Nope. Nope, not gonna do it. That's not the match you nope. want to focus on right there. Nope. All right, let me get let me let, then let me let me give let me give the realness. Go for it. Okay, so King Corbin a few weeks ago pushes Elias off like straight Ugh. up. Long live the kings him from Lion King him and knocks him off. There's no stamping uh, water buffalo or anything. I mean wildebeest, not water buffalo. I got my I got my ungulates wrong. So anyway, Sufasa. 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 Sufasa didn't die. Well, I mean, Elias didn't die, but he got knocked out for a little bit, mm -hmm. missing a couple weeks, finally shows up, has the match that nobody wanted. King Corbin loses to Elias in about, like, you know, 10 minutes, and nobody really gave much Two of a damn. Two shits. Not really. Not really. This, this was just this was just a match. So I I'm, I, I agree with you on the, now, nah, let's move on. Yeah. So let us move on. We follow it up with Becky Lynch versus the, ch uh, no, 
Becky Lynch champion versus Shayna Baszler for the Raw Women's Championship. Is that oh. Right? There you go. That's where it is. Okay. This match. Preach on it. It was a good match. I enjoyed this match. Why would you fuck Shayna Baszler over? That's my question to the WWE universe. Because you built Shayna up to this moment, correct? Yep. Okay. The Elimination Chamber match. Buried Shayna everybody else Baszler in there. buried everybody. There were no survivors. Mm-mm. None. Mm-mm. Elimination. That was the Elimination Chamber. So going into this match for WrestleMania, I'm pretty sure we were banking on Shayna winning the title. Mm-hmm. This is like the same shit they did to Asuka. Yeah. Yeah. Why yeah. would you do this? Yeah. Like, why? Yeah. Okay, why is... Okay, I love Becky, and I love Shayna. Mm-hmm. However, I'm fine with Becky losing the title. Yeah. It does nothing to her. It doesn't make her look bad. It does nothing to her. Not at all. Because Becky is awesome on her own. But you can let Shayna carry the title. Because Shayna is that badass that you can call up to the roster. She's just one of those that you can call up to the roster right away and can carry a title and can do something with the title. Yeah. Yeah. They, they really do need a, a big baddie. Yes. Uh, to, to bolster the wrong women's division. Yes. Just and like she was one. in NXT. Yeah. That's yeah. what they need. It could have worked. Yes. Now, I'm going to make you really mad uh, because I, I did enjoy this match. I love this match. Yeah, it was do, good. Do you know how long this match lasted? 20 minutes. Eight and a half minutes. It didn't even go 10 minutes. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. It's a shame, but we're going to move on. Yeah. We're going to follow it up with Sami Zayn with Cesaro and Shinsuke no. Nakamura. Against Daniel Bryan. Okay, now, now you're saying no because you don't want to talk about this match. I don't want to talk about this match. I mean, you can talk was, about it, but this I was mean, fun. This it was fun. This was again, It was Very, a lot of shenanigans it was. happening here. Oh my God, Daniel Bryan, I love you in the ring. He's amazing. Sami Zayn, uh, ha- not having the crowd actually bolstered this match up just a little bit because you could actually hear everything that Sami Zayn was saying. Yeah, they were being completely vocal and like it was. It was comedic. It was some great wrestling, uh, some amazing storytelling yeah. happening, uh, you know, throughout this whole match. Drew Gulak, he needs this because like, he was involved as uh, basically Daniel Bryan's hype man yeah. on ringside. Yeah. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, Cesaro always, you know, popping in there to add some distractions here and there. Yeah. Distractions. Of course, Sami Zayn, yeah. This is a match that I say go back and watch because it's fun. It, it was. It, it's right. another sub ten minute match. Yeah, yeah it nice, was. Nice, nice little run. Yeah, it's enjoyable. So give it a give it a shot. But Sami Zayn ends up uh, retaining the championship. So Intercontinental Championship is actually being bolstered uh, in this. So yeah, that's that's good. That's good. That's okay. kudos. That's, that's a thumbs up. I mean, to it WWE. is. It is. It is. We follow it up with. Okay, this is this is a mixed bag. We have the triple threat. Ladder match for the WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Mm. Now, there is no tag teams in here. It's just one representative for each. You got John Morrison, you got Jimmy Uso, and you got Kofi Kingston representing their respective teams, uh, Miz and Morrison, uh, the Usos, and the New Day. Yes. But you only have one member each. Right. In this ladder match. Have anything to say about that? What the fuck? Okay, that's 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 a pretty that's a pretty good that's a pretty good statement right there because this match <laughs> Again. felt like it was still designed to be a tag match. Yes, like so many of the spots makes make made less sense than if it was just a a singles ladder match. Yes, not only that, you have Kofi Kingston, Jimmy Uso, mm-hmm. and John Morrison. Like, are you serious? It, it it was so weird because, like, there, there was a point where John Morrison was down and out for, like, a good five, ten minutes. And what the fuck was that about? And just, like, fucked off and let them wrestle and do their, do their spots. <sighs> but it felt so out of place because in a regular triple threat tag, uh, triple threat tag, in a regular triple threat match, you know, you would see a lot more involvement between all three. Yeah. And, again, it, it felt less like a, a triple threat ladder match and it felt like a triple threat tag team match that just missed like everybody just missing their partners and it really felt like that it did and i did not like this match as much as i should have because like as you said it's 
it's Jimmy Uso, it's Kofi Kingston, and it's the parkour master, John Morris. Right. And it just was just like, We okay. got none of the athleticism. We just got a bunch of... So many people took... Fun foolery. Took, took forever to climb a ladder. And it's not like it happened, like, late in the match. No. It happened, like, towards the beginning, where it's like, uh, uh, uh John Morrison had a point. I, I know I wanted to rush for this match, but John Morrison had a point. Where no one's around. He moves two steps up and then he's like, oh, my shoulder. Let me let me run that kink out. I waste a few. Okay, let me take another step. Oh, my you shoulder wasted, again. You wasted talent oh, in this again. match. You wasted talent in this match I, when you had a match. Yeah, this 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 could have been amazing. It was like basically it they walked into work that day and was told, oh, uh, by the way, we're going to change this match. It's just going to be one representation of the tag team. And we're going to turn it into a ladder match just to make it good for the audience. Yeah. That's basically what it felt like they were told. It was just like, okay, so now you just told us it's like a couple hours before our actual match. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, 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 they, they probably should have just switched it out because it, yeah. it was supposed to be a ladder match uh, between the three teams. And again... You know, it's, it was only one representative each, and it might as well have just been a regular triple threat match, which would have been great. Yeah, but without like, the ladder, without the ladders, but like with the ladders, it felt weird uh, because, as I said, everything felt like it was meant for a tag triple threat match, and there was just like so much blank space. Yeah, when it came to action in the ring, and it felt weird, and I didn't like it. So we're gonna move on. Uh, we have Kevin Owens. Versus Seth Rollins. This started off as a regular match. It did. Turned into a no disqualification match. Yeah. This was great storytelling. Again, this is one of those instances where the lack of a crowd actually made the match a little bit better. Yeah. Because you could hear them speak. And it was a lot of fun as a result because they were jaw jacking. You had Kevin Owens. Every time he took a hit, went, ow! Yeah. Like, it was fun. That's fun. That's yes. fun to me. That I enjoy fun. wrestling when it looks like that. Yes. Uh, but, you know, Kevin Owens gets the win. Again, it, it was a fun... I'm, I'm not going to say no to this one because it was a fun match. It was a fun match. It was, it was fun. fun. It was, it was funny. a fun match. Seth fun and Kevin and did funny. good playing off of each other. And then we move on to the next match. Now, this was supposed to be Roman Reigns' spot. This was supposed to be a battle of the spears between Reigns and Goldberg. This turned into literally two moves. No. Two moves. Nope. Two moves. You, you can move on. Spears on. and Power Sun. I got to tell them who won. Mm -hmm. I gotta tell him to finish. So I'm, I'm gonna move on to the finish. Because, like, I, I don't want to spend more time on this match and have the match actually last. La match lasted shorter than a Twitter video two minutes and 10 seconds. So I just want to move on. Uh, Goldberg Spear, Goldberg Spear, Goldberg Spear, Braun Strowman kick out. Power Slam, Power Slam, Power Slam, Power Slam. Braun Strowman is your new WWE uni uh, Universal Champion. Don't care. Moving on to quite possibly. The best match of the whole event. Uh, yeah, I, I can say that. I yeah, can say that it was. Because I'm going to hold off on what I want to say to the next. Okay. Uh, on the next night. So this is probably the best match of the whole event. This was the Boneyard match. This was... Give me, give me, a, give me a Boneyard real quick. Boneyard. There we go. Boneyard This match, match right here was cheesy as shit, and yes. it should not have worked. Yes. But it worked. This was Bro, awesome. Man, this is what made my <laughs> WrestleMania for night one. Like, this is what redeemed WWE. Oh this match right here redeemed WWE for me. I don't want to talk. let me tell you, I, it, WWE for me was like... Oh, yeah, no. It, it, like... It, it was so basic. It was like, why is this a WrestleMania? But this, yeah. this, this, this definitely made it feel like a WrestleMania. Yes. I don't want to spoil all of the fun spots in this match because you have to see it for yourself. Yeah. This is fun. This is dumb. This is cheesy. Kind of like our music wrestling. video. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah. Oh, this was great. But anyway, Undertaker rides off into the sunset. That's the only thing I want to tell you about this match. That's it. We're going to leave I don't, right I, don't, there. I, don't want, I don't want to spoil anything else. This is no. just, this is just fun, cinematic. It was just outlandish, and you will enjoy it if yes. you like wrestling. If you like cheesy things, if if you like if you like a bad sci fi movie, this, you'll love this. You'll love this. This is you'll awesome. This. This is yeah, great. this, this was. is great. Anyway, that's basically night one. Night yeah, one. Night one had some pretty decent matches. 
Uh, it has some baffling booking decisions uh, yeah. here and there. It had some baffling match decisions in a, on a couple of them, yeah. but nothing like overly spectacular. Night one was just kind of like, eh, yeah. meh. Nothing, uh, nothing really to say. Yeah, to give night one, I would grade night one a C minus, D plus. Even with the bone yard match? The bone yard match is what makes it a C minus. Wow. Wow. Well, I, don't think, I, don't, I don't think I'd go that far. I, I would I would go C plus. I would go C plus, even with the bone yard match. I go mm-hmm. C plus. I, 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 I wouldn't go as far as a D. But moving on, we also had night two. Now, night two started us off, and we kind of didn't have any confidence in night two because night two started, and it was the same video package as night one. Yeah. And it was just like, okay, so y'all not doing anything different. Are we going to get more of the same with night two? Really? Yeah. So we started off with what is quite possibly if it if the boneyard is the match of the night for night one, this is technically probably our match of the night for night two. Yeah, yeah, I'd say that this okay. is this is match of the night for night two. We had Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley, the NXT champion. Oh now we already had our had our uh, opinions known. We we wish that Bianca Belair was in it. We believe it was, it was a triple threat match. We we also figured who was going to win. I'll let you take it away. Again, this was a waste. This was a waste. You had Rhea Ripley, who worked her ass off in NXT. Her ass off. Beat Shayna Baszler to get the NXT Women's Championship, just to have her tap out to Charlotte Flair. Again, what the fuck? Now, the match, again, one of the best matches of the night. One of the best it, matches of both nights. This is this why was it pissed everybody off. I'm yeah, we, sure. we, we, weren't, we weren't too happy. No. First of all, I guess the figure eight is probably one of the most protected moves in, in, in WWE today. That's fine. Because I can't think of anybody else who's been able to break out of the figure eight once he gets the bridge in. Which, I mean, is great storytelling. It is. You know, it, it, it makes it look very dangerous. And yes. I'm cool with that. Big problem is, though, moving forward, you're basically saying, so Charlotte is now an NXT talent? And that's not a bad thing because it, Finn Balor, yeah. Finn Balor has been an NXT <clears throat> talent ever since he's he's been uh, pulled down from the main roster. Yeah. He's, he's now an NXT talent, but there was no like when it came to Finn, that was a deserved, not demotion, but a deserved transition. Yeah, because he went from Universal Champion to dislocating a shoulder to basically jobbing out to Bobby Lashley. Yeah, and doing nothing but being a smiley face. So of course he needs to go back to. NXT to, to repackage and rework and become uh, uh, the prince again. Yeah. That, that makes sense it from does. a storyline standpoint. And this from, doesn't make sense. Yeah, no, this doesn't because like Charlotte has been champion. Charlotte has been top of the heap the whole time. So like it still makes sense for her to challenge Rhea Ripley because Rhea yeah, Ripley was like, you know, popping off all, off the cuff and just being like, yeah. yo, okay. I, I'm the best out right. there. Okay. Forget NXT. Right. Yeah. So, okay. So that was not my problem. I don't like, I don't think NXT is like a downgrade or anything. I actually liked Charlotte picked Rhea for WrestleMania from NXT. Yeah, it just Because that make just sense. shows the talent that NXT has and it just shows the new talent that's coming through. Yeah. My issue comes with how wh- what's the storyline now with Charlotte having an XT? Were you that desperate for her to have gold? Yeah, it, it just yeah, kind of feels, feels like, like it just kind of feels like WD is desperate for Charlotte to have gold. When again, she doesn't need it. No. It doesn't do anything for her because she's already good as is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. That, that's that's about right. That's about it. Right yes. there. It makes no sense for Charlotte to be down in NXT no. for any extended period of time. And like a lot of this. You can kind of feel that there's a kernel of, okay, we wanted your big match to be in front of a crowd yeah. so that you can get that pop, that big adulation that you deserve. But at the same time, delaying it, you, you might as well delay the match in and of itself versus having them lose yeah. at, at the show of shows and then having them win sometime down the road at a lesser show. Yes. This, is actually, this is actually started making us 
feel a little bit worried uh, when it came down to Brock Lesnar and Drew McIntyre, yeah, which we'll get into a little bit later. Yeah. We were a little bit worried about that because it was yeah. like, man, is that is that the mentality they're going to have? Where it's like, okay, your coronation should happen in front of a crowd, so we're going to have you lose at WrestleMania and then like win the title at maybe Money the Bank or at a Raw or SmackDown yeah. or who cares. Yes. And that, that, that really didn't feel like this was worth it. Great match. Didn't didn't care about the finish. The ending sucked just like Shayna and Becky. Yeah, the ending sucked. Uh, then we had Aleister Black versus Bobby Lashley. Mm. Oh, no. Okay. This was actually another good match. It only lasted about seven minutes, but this was still a good match. Uh, some good storytelling. Uh, well, yeah, no, yeah. No, it wasn't decent. This was a good it match. Was, it, was, it was, it was. This was like a legitimately Let good match. Let me give match. where due is, needs to be given. You're right. It yeah. Was. Uh, some good ras- uh, some good wrestling. Wrestling. Some good wrestling from Bobby Lashley. Some great uh, movement from from Alistair Black. I still think that they should have kept the Ascension and had Alistair Black be the leader of it because all that Ill- Illuminati stuff yeah. is perfect for them. But it they're is. out the fucking company. Yeah. You got Alistair Black who's going up against uh, Bobby Lashley. No gold on the line. Nothing happening. But this was still a pretty good it match. Is it, decent, yeah. For for a nothing match. It did this turn was still, out. This was fun. still pretty good. This yeah. was fun. For, for what it was. This was yeah. fun. And I had no expectations for this match. Uh, then we follow up with uh, Otis versus uh, Dolph Ziggler. No. No? Okay. Uh, this this match... Um, Otis won. Otis won. And Ali, supposedly... Yeah, yeah. Allegedly. Is, allegedly. Yeah, is behind what happened between Mandy and Otis and Sonya and... Do- well, he, he's oh, the one who okay. exposed the, the big yeah. plot. And I'm guessing that's what they're going for. Like, like, like Ali is going to be the big snitch I in guess. everything right now. I like, guess. I want to be back in, uh, behind the scenes, the hacker, exposing all of your secrets. Like, forget you heels. You heels don't deserve to, to be doing all this dirt in the dark. I want to expose you and bring it to the light. Yeah. Which I don't mind. I don't I, I, mind. I don't either. But, like, I, I was actually kind of hoping that Ali would have it. Like, okay, I'm... I'm I'm gonna fo- I'm gonna wait for our our little ending part because I have something to say about that. Yeah. But oh, this one. Moving on. Edge versus Randy Orton in the last man standing match. Oh no. Okay. No, this no. was like a drawn out match that did not need to. This be. match should have ended 15 minutes earlier than it did, because <laughs> after a while, it stopped. It stopped all the animosity and the anger and and the it determination. Just, it just fell flat fell after that. Flat. For after like the first 20 minutes yeah. and it just became 15 extra minutes of two old dudes just beating up on each other yeah. and we were just like okay end just end anyway Edge wins gets his retribution Yay. moving on uh, we followed up with a uh, Raw Tag Team Championship match between the Street Profits and uh, Austin Theory and Angel Garza two dudes who Previously, were just like NXT stalwarts. Uh, Austin Theory hadn't even hadn't even debuted up until like yeah. maybe a month or two ago, yeah. and now they're on WrestleMania, yeah. filling in spots. Yeah, mainly because Andrade one Andrade had uh, got popped for you know the wellness policy, mm-hmm. and then he gets injured. So because he got popped for wellness policy, Angel Garza gets pulled up to take his spot while he's gone. Yeah, he comes back, gets injured. Austin Theory takes his spot yeah. while he's gone. So like. Andrade is the gift that keeps on giving right now. Okay. Yay. Apparently. Thanks, but anyway, I, I, this was this was this was this was another good match. I, yeah, because uh, yeah. Go ahead, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, it was. It was. No, it, it was. It was. It was. It was decent. Okay. It was decent. It was decent. They got in there. They got out there. Had a pretty good match. Yep. Street Profits retaining the championships. Nothing really to write home about, but like it. it it didn't overstay its welcome. No, it got didn't. in there. Got the match done. Yep. Nice spots. Pin, move on. Yeah, this match you appreciate it. You, you, can, appre- you can appreciate this yeah. match. You can appreciate yeah. this match for what it for what it is. Um, then we have the Fatal Five Way Elimination Match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. You got to consider. No, oh, I don't. Okay. No, uh, we had. It's the same goddamn storyline. There is no storyline for this. There, there absolutely is not. I hope they don't because here we go. We got a Fatal. Fatal five way. Fatal five way. Elimination. Got, yes. Then you got Sasha in the match of the Fatal Five Way for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Mm. Isn't this the same storyline that you were trying to tell? I don't know. Last year, year before. Yeah, this, this does feel like a rehash. But we had Bailey, Sasha Banks, Tamina. 
Lacey Evans and Naomi fatal five way elimination match. Tamina's the first one that they get the fuck out of there. Mm-hmm. That's quick. Uh, Naomi's next. Uh, then Sasha Banks gets gets dipped out by yeah. uh, a, a woman's right from Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans is the final elimination. Bailey gets the win, but there is some miscommunication, miscommunication uh, between Bailey and Sasha Banks. And people are thinking, oh, wow, maybe maybe she's finally going to turn on her because she accidentally hit her with a knee. Maybe that's going to be the thing. But Sasha ends up, you know, helping Bailey retain. And, and then there's just a stare down. turn on her, her, it's the same shit. It's, it's just going to be like... Shit. Honestly, uh, like, like with without all of the current events that's going on right now, um, I think this is the story that they would have tried to tell, like Sasha actually turning on Bailey. Yes. They probably would have pulled the trigger on it. And it would have been a little interesting at this time. But since yeah, okay. since... We're dealing with current events. We just, you know, stuck with the same old, same old. And uh, again, this is a lengthy match, but it's 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 okay. Had some pretty decent spots. Yeah. I don't know what it is about Lacey Evans, but like, I don't like her. As a as a performer, I'm cool with her, but like her yeah. character, I just can't get behind. It's so, like, like they when pulled it, her up from NXT, and I don't know why. Oh, they pulled her up way too early. Because she was way doing good. Early. She was like, she was actually starting to become. To to get into her own at NXT. Yeah, and then they pulled her and up. And then they to, pulled her up, and now you don't Becky. know what to do with her. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But we're going to move on to... Actually, I'm going to skip this because I want this to be the last thing we talk about. Okay. Uh, we got Drew McIntyre versus Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship. I feel so bad for Drew because this should be a big coronation it should happening be. in front of nearly 100,000 people. It should be. It should have been. But but I was happy with the outcome because let me tell you, going into this match, I had no expectations. Oh, yeah. I thought they were going to mess him over like they did Shayna. They almost did. Yeah. There were three moves in this match. Germans, F5s, and Claymores. That's it. But it's it's weird because when they did the same thing with Braun Strowman and Goldberg, I hated it. I just yeah. wanted it over with as quickly as possible. Yeah. Because it felt slipshod and nobody really gave a damn what was going to happen. Right. With this one, it lasted about twice as long. There were the same amount of moves, but like each each German and each F5 felt like, oh my God, is this going to be the thing? Yeah. Is this going to be it? And Drew ends up getting the win off of like he claimed him from all four corners of the ring. Yeah, he and that did. was great. I loved it. Was, it was, and thank God, thank, thank you. God, Drew gets the win. He's the new WWE champion. That's great. That's awesome. Now let's talk about the Firefly Funhouse match. The thoughts? match of the evening. The match that again the match of the team WWE. Now I can't, in good faith, call spoil. this a match. No, I but cannot, don't spoil in good it. faith. Call this a match. I will not spoil it no. because, again, just like the Boneyard match, yes. this is wrestling at its finest. It is cinematic. It is, again, it's kind of dumb and shit, cheesy. But, but it works. There were some great callbacks. You, you're going to have to watch this match. Yeah. You're going to have to watch this segment. Let's call it a segment. It's not yeah. a match. Okay, we'll call you're gonna it You're going to have to call this, you're going to have to watch this segment multiple times because there are so many callbacks. And there are so many references that you're just going to be like, oh, I get it and feel better as a result. Yeah. I won't, I won't again, spoil no. anything here because there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to dissect. Yeah. We might, do, we might, we might yeah. do that like Wednesday. Okay. Maybe Wednesday. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about what it. What I can say for this segment, because, you know, it pissed me off how they had Bray lose the championship to Goldberg. Yeah. Whatever bullshit that was. Yeah. This they redeemed it with this. Oh yeah. Now it, it, it feels it feels really bad because uh, they probably had a big plan for for Bray Wyatt if current events weren't happening currently, and it may have been something completely different. It may, have but been. they they worked around it yep, in a positive way, and I will segue into that somewhere in, in a minute. Uh, but there was a line that Bray Wyatt did say. This one I will spoil. It's like even now they're t- they're taking everything away from me just so he can get this match with John Cena they took that universal title away from him Mm -hmm. just so they can get that match and it really hits you in the back but like this whole segment was great Bray Wyatt wins the match it's not really a match but he wins and and you are going to enjoy this this is fun this is the best part of wrestling and that's what I want to segue into this is what most of WrestleMania should have been. You don't have a crowd. Yeah. You don't have a crowd, but like 90% of the event was played up as if you did. Yeah. And it's one of those things where it's like, 
you have all of the ability, all of the, the money, all of the skill, all the visuals that you can put into this whole WrestleMania, and you basically went business as usual for 90% of the matches. Yeah. Uh, the Boneyard and the Firefly Funhouse matches were the only ones that felt unique due to the fact that you don't have a, have an audience. But every other match felt like they were playing to an audience of one. Yeah. And that didn't really make it feel like it was an Authentic. amazing event. Yeah. yeah. Because, like, when you have products like Lucha Underground where they really just like give into the whole soap opera aesthetic yeah. of it all. It really felt like okay, you could have done that. You don't need to have... There was a match that had like 160 cuts in it. And you're just like okay, that shouldn't happen because you're not live. Yeah. You don't need to make those live cuts. You could really just make these long shots you could have these dramatic angles if you wanted to, but instead you left it as the same old, same old. And it didn't feel like WrestleMania was WrestleMania as a result. You, since you don't have a crowd of, of tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people to watch and cheer along with you. And it really felt like their absence was felt. Yeah. During okay. the majority of this uh, event. Of this event, yeah. And it's it's a shame. It's a shame. But night two, night two was way better than night one. Yeah. I got to give it at least a B plus. Oh, I, I agree. Not, That's fair. Like I would, you had, I you had better matches. Plus. Yeah. I enjoyed it a little bit yeah. better. So, yeah. yeah, definitely a B plus. Um, this was, as I said, this was weird. Yeah, because of current events. But, yeah. And because you know. of current events, this was weird. And I feel for a lot of the wrestlers who didn't get a chance to, uh, to, to, to participate, uh, yeah. whose matches got changed. Um I really feel for people who didn't get their big WrestleMania moment. Yeah. Because, like, that, 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 that's, that's going to feel a little weird yeah. when you go to, when you come to next year and WrestleMania is popping off. And, like, how would you feel if somebody was like, oh, yeah, I had a WrestleMania moment last year in front of a crowd of nobody in just a regular ass match? Yeah. Like, how does that, how does that feel? Because, like, Dolph Ziggler just had his first ever singles match at WrestleMania. And it was, again, should have been a big pop because Otis won. Yeah. But it's nothing. Nothing happened. It, yeah. it, it feels it feels a little weird. And I really feel that they, they should have really uh dipped it, like, you know, turned into, steered into the fact that they didn't have a crowd and just played up like, hey, we don't have a crowd, so let's act like it's an actual event that we're pre recording. Instead it feels like, okay, I'm just watching another Raw in front of no crowd. And it it it, it hurt. It really hurt. But anyway, tell us what you think about your WrestleMania 36 experience. Uh, do you agree with us? Do you hate us? Do you love us? Throw those hearts up. Give us some hearts. But make sure to comment down below. Tell us what you think about what you thought about WrestleMania 36 if you managed to watch it. If you felt like you didn't want to give it, you know, any bit of your time. Also, let us know. Who cares? Let's talk. Let's have a conversation. Yay. Click, 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 click. Type down below. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, let's... <laughs> We're going to end. We're going to end. We're going to end. So we will catch y'all later. Deuces. <laughs>